Okay, this is going to be a short little tutorial, and uh, it's basically uh, answering a, a viewer's question, which is how to connect your MIDI keyboard uh, or a MIDI drum set to hydrogen. I've kind of gone over this in the past because it's the same concept that we use for all our MIDI applications, uh, but what we're going to be looking at is using Jack D. I've already got hydrogen started up here, and I already have Jack D running. I start Jack D in the terminal. I run this command, Jack D dash D, ALSA dash D, and then HW for hardware zero, which is my first sound card. Now, if you start up Jack Connection like this, uh, in most cases you can just press start and it starts. That doesn't work for me, it used to, and I think it's because I put a second audio card in my computer and it confuses the GUI interface. Um, so I do this command and then I open up my Jack Connection here. Sometimes I have to change this 0 to a 1 because it detects the audio cards in a different order. Um, so either just open up Jack Connection and click start. If that doesn't work, run this command, and if that doesn't work, try changing this 0 to a 1 if you have more than one sound card. Anyway, once we got that started up, then you can open up Hydrogen, which I've already got running as you can hear. And then, let me close this window. Inside your Jack Connection window, you can click Connect, and it shows you all your connections. Uh, these are the audio, and basically I've got our door open, that's why I'm using to record the audio here. Uh, so I got both hydrogen and my system going to Ardor, but to connect to MIDI, you would think you click on MIDI here. But no, I don't, I don't know what that tab's for, I've never seen anything in there. I'm going to click on my ALSA here. And uh, maybe it's because I don't actually have a MIDI card inside my computer. I, I'm assuming if I did, maybe that's what would show up there. Because my MIDI keyboard is a USB device. It's off right now, let me turn it on. And it should show up right there, my USB Oxygen 61. Now all I have to do is click on that here, and Hydrogen over here, and I'll press Connect, and we're connected. I'll go back into Hydrogen here, I'll stop this, and now I can start pressing keys on my keyboard. So that's how you connect uh, a MIDI device uh, for, from the hardware MIDI device to your hydrogen input. Uh, once again, I'm using a MIDI keyboard, but the same concept should work if you have a MIDI drum set. Um, I have not had to work with one of those, but I'm assuming the input's the same. If it's coming in through USB, it should show up here. If it's an actual um, MIDI uh, controller in your computer, I don't know if it will show up here or under the MIDI tab. But uh, you connect it just like that. You connect the, the device, the MIDI device, and then you click Hydrogen here and click Connect and then just start playing. And that is it. That's how you connect your MIDI device, whether it be a keyboard, uh, drum set, or other MIDI device to Hydrogen. Once again, it's kind of a simple tutorial. But uh, hopefully it's useful to many people out there. And I thank you for watching. And I hope you visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.